He just hit on us. He, he just asked me on a date. Pretty much. He literally just asked us on a date. I think together. Two peas in a pocket. Hey, hey. Hi. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Two peas in a pocket. <laughs> Yay. We're so excited. Okay, first of all, look at this stick. So cool. I'm chilling. Can you guess what our video's gonna be on tonight? Well, first of all, we need to charge your phone. But yes, we're so excited because we're having a Halloween inspired YouTube video today. We have a guest star. Yes, we have a guest. Her name is Sarah. Sarah, and she'll be doing her makeup today. She specializes in special effects makeup and we are so excited for her to bake our faces. Yay, so Hi. stay tuned. Stay tuned and we'll get into the video. We're setting up to film. It is. Look what happened. <laughs> wow. I was moving the table. This is our beautiful makeup artist. Hey guys. I was moving the table and uh, the legs collapsed on me, so. Okay, but this is the beginning of our video. Yay! <laughs> Are you gonna make up? <laughs> So we're just gonna go off that vibe. Make it a sexy it's a good girl. It's a clown sometimes. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, it's you did you too though, so yeah, that's okay. No. This is very fitting. <laughs> Alright. Who first? That's a good question. You can go. Okay. I thought you were going first. Okay, I'll go first. Awesome. Yay, yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. Should I just start? Yeah, yeah I should just start. So it, um, Perfect. Okay, so this is like a a makeup tutorial kind of, is it? Is that what we're doing? How fun. Okay, cool. That's what we're doing. So basically, I'm just um, going in with milk soda water and some uh, cotton balls. Are you okay with me touching your face before I start? Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. We love a good consent. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this and wipe it all over her face just to get any pre-existing dirt um, or makeup off her face. Or a clean slate. <laughs> recommend for people that have more of uh, like oily skin because it does dry out the skin a little bit more than milsar water does um, which is why I usually use moisture water because I have really dry skin but I love it it's very nice I'm now just going to be going in with this moisturizer and moisturizing your face Ooh. when I was in college um, I was watching it see and so on the Halloween weekends, every, you would get dressed up like every four different things because that's when the party is. You know Same, how it is. Yeah. And I, I remember one time I was a crayon. Mm -hmm. I got a kid's costume and it looked a little hat. Yeah. Stockings up the crayon. So you look like a penis? I look like a cute little penis. <laughs> that's cute. And then I was SpongeBob. I'm actually like SpongeBob every year. Because I have a really cute costume. That's so. cute. I want to see a picture. 
Insert photo here. Yeah, I'm holding up that. <laughs> Lila and her SpongeBob costume. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty dry. I was just waiting for it to dry a little before I go in with the foundation and concealer. I'm just mixing the two because the color is a little dark for her right now. AKA, I'm pale. <laughs> um, also, just I wanted to put this out for y'all. Um, these are their products and their brushes. That's why I'm not cleaning everything or spraying them to sanitize um, beforehand. So, just wanted to put it out. Yeah, otherwise it would be sanitizing, but it's their products. They use it every day, so I don't need to sanitize it for them. So, just gonna pop this on the back of my. So, my freshman year of college, I, I was Halloween weekend. I got super wasted, really, really drunk, you know, as you do as a freshman. And I went to this party and I came home and my phone was gone. So I was like so upset. I couldn't find my phone. And I called, like, I called, um, the, what are the different names of the companies? There's Sprint, Verizon. Okay, okay. Anyways, so I called T Mobile and I'm on the phone with T Mobile for like 45 minutes, like crying about the fact that I can't find my phone. And this lady, was in Georgia and she's like comforting me and it's like Halloween and I'm like so miserable. And then at the end of the phone call, I realized that I didn't have Team of Web Sprint. <laughs> so I'm like talking to this lady. It's horrible. And I was using my roommate's phone, so it wasn't my phone, you know. I was like, let me call Team Mobile. Oh, I didn't even know that the carrier. That's so funny. No. So then I was like, I need to find this phone. I get into a taxi cab. <laughs> And I made this taxi driver like drive me through the neighborhoods of like the parties I thought that I was like at. And I'm calling my phone, right? And all of a sudden, I hear birthday sex coming out of like this trash bag, and it's my phone. <laughs> Why a trash can? Because my phone fell into this trash can, and I fucking miraculously found it. That is crazy. Wait, that reminds me of the time that Missa, my girlfriend, she threw her keys like down, like. Okay, so the night before, she had like a bag of something, and I remember her keys were in them, and the next morning, she like couldn't find her keys, she was like, where are my keys? And I'm like, oh, did you throw that bag away that was like by the kitchen? And she was like, uh, yeah. I'm like, your keys were in that bag, like what, Ooh. So like, we went to the trash chute, and she found her keys, but oh, gosh, they could've been gone. Oh. Whatever that day. That was a fun day. Very fun day. What was your favorite costume that you ever wore? Um, Mine was Jasmine from Aladdin because I just have got, like, I'm Middle Eastern, so I feel like me and Jasmine already kind of look alike, so I was like, this is the perfect costume, and sure enough, I looked, it, like, it was just, I pulled Wait, it off. Wait, so you have a Jasmine costume? Yes. So you have a picture of that? Yes. Okay, so I'll pop that up. I had, uh, I don't know if it was, like, a Jasmine thing, but... Um, I got this really cute outfit in Morocco, and I wore it on Halloween. So it, it looks like it was kind of like a jasmine. So we'll put them out together. Oh my god! We, I mean, today we never. Okay, we have never coordinated our outfits for any of our episodes. I know, isn't that so? Funny? Yeah, we always are come coordinated. On oh accident. God. The only thing we coordinate is our lipstick color, you guys. And we're not even wearing any lipstick yet. We're not wearing lipstick yet. Yes. Yay! Because I'm just going to stand here. Are you in the shot? Yeah, I'm in the shot. Okay. In the middle. I'm just... <laughs> Thumbnail? Just checking. I have a pinch. <laughs> So tell me about your crazy Halloween story, Sauce. <laughs> so my my first Halloween. Also, sorry, mom, if you hear this story. <laughs> sorry, mom. Um, my first Halloween in LA was a shit show. Was this last say, year? Yes. <laughs> to say the very least, I was went to West Hollywood, as one does in LA, um, for Halloween, and I met this guy and his friends. Or, like, these girls were, like, we were all dancing, and this guy, and he was, like, cute, um, but I thought he was gay. I mean, I also was in West Hollywood, but, like, just, I mean, 
my gaydar was like really going off. <laughs> well, he was like in like a, I don't know, he was like a scientist or like a zombie scientist or something. Oh, for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, like, I was like, what do you mean he was a zombie scientist? Like, what? Are you it's sure? Halloween, yeah, no, he's a real zombie. Um, so he was like in like a, a white like lab coat and had like white makeup on his face and um, I was Batman so I had like my Batman costume, my tits were out, it was great, <laughs> I had red lipstick on um, and I asked him if he was gay for whatever reason I asked him and he, just, he starts making out with me. Oh, does that answer your question? So I'm like, all right, no, he's not. And then I'm like, all right, so we like start making out. And then he starts choking me. Wait, in your chair? In you? the middle of the bar. In the middle, on the dance floor, in the middle of the bar. And he starts choking me. Okay. <laughs> Look, are you in pain? Yeah. Okay. Or were you liking it? Was this? I was very thrown off because I'm like, okay, this is like I'm about to die on the dance floor. Everyone's gonna think it's part of Halloween. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, okay, like guess that's what you're into, but like, all right, we that's just like met. Ventures. I right, like we like we just started kissing like two seconds ago, and then at first I was like, all right. But then he just started getting like a little bit more aggressive and I was like, I'm a little scared. So I just like ran away from him. <laughs> and then I like, when we stopped kissing, I look up and he turns from zombie doctor to the Joker. Because my lipstick was like all over oh, his face. Oh my God. That is hilarious. And I was like, you know what, it's Halloween, I'm not even gonna let him know. And I just dipped and I left. Wait, that is so funny. And then, on my way home, I got lost. This is like a month into us being like uh, living I know here. This, story. this is where the, this is the part so, of the story that I know. Yeah. So, um, so I call my roommate and I'm like, I need help. I'm lost. I'm literally like, as cars are driving on the road, I'm knocking on their window, being like, Do you know where like this place is? I'm crazy. Where's your phone? I was on it. At one point, I literally gave a random stranger my phone and like, I'm sorry, 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 I'm
like what you want to do with contour. And it would look horrible. Yes, it would look muddy and you'd look like you are um, like five drinks deep and in, in a very not good place in life. Or like a real clown. I was, gonna, I was trying to say something. I was trying to say something. And then I was like, no, don't do that. I was like, it looks like you're going to be, like, like you are in Jersey Shore. Okay, should I pause this? I'm just trying to make it easier for yeah. me. Yeah. All right, Sarah. So we're back. Tell us what you're doing. Okay, so I am putting this palette. I don't know what it's, it's called. It's a tartlet. A tartlet. Um, we're going oh, in with this Wanderer. Wander. Wander. Wanderer. <laughs> wanderer. <laughs> wanderer. But fun the fact: wanderer. I used to have such a bad list. Um, when I was a kid, I had to go to speech pediment classes for like four years. So words that have double R's on in them, very hard for me to say. I have to like think about it. Another fun fact, me and Sarah were both born in Hawaii. Yeah, I, that was awesome to find out. We were both born on Oahu, which is about 80% of the population actually lives on that island, which is interesting. I know, it's so funny. Right? Small world. We're back. And we're back. We're better than ever. Um, so we're gonna go in to her eyes, make them look clowny, kind of like I am throwing around my makeup artist's tools. So we're going with this palette. It looks like a grave, like a like a tombstone. Like a coffin. Like a coffin. Yeah, which I think is super dope. And why? I decided to use it today. I'm such a sucker for like something that like has good what is it called? Packaging? Packaging, yeah. Like I literally bought this pal palette because of the packaging. I love that for you. Oh, it's so cute. Can you So I'm just placing this basically. It's orange, like a pumpkin. Yes, yeah, like a pumpkin. Because you are my pumpkin. <laughs> I want to go to the pumpkin patch. We should make a video. Oh my god. We could just go to Home Depot because they have like an area with pumpkins. <laughs> we could just go to oh, Home Depot. <laughs> take pictures there. We could tell people we were at the pumpkin patch. That'd but we're cool. really, we're at Home Depot. Yeah, and I love Home Depot. I do really like Home Depot. They, I just love looking at stuff at Home Depot. I just like, I Home like Depot. I love stuff. Yeah, Home Depot is kind of like a real life Amazon. Like, you find things there that you didn't know you needed. <laughs> I needed this. Oh my god, I love that. I'm just going in with loose powder to put under her eyes so we don't mess up her face makeup when I'm doing her eye makeup. Oh. Oh my god, speaking of cocaine. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> that, that didn't tell me. Speaking right. of cocaine. No, it's, it's true. The other day, um, we were at like this witch, witchery brew like place, a, a restaurant that was themed like witches, okay? It's called The Cauldron. The Cauldron. Super cool place. We loved the drinks. Um, anyways, so I went into the bathroom and there was a sign up and the sign said, please do your coke somewhere else. Some witches have to use the bathroom. And I was like, what the hell? I love that. But yeah, I think it's hilarious. That's so funny. I thought I would be doing that because like, no thanks, but 
I just think it's funny that they would put that up there and like are so open about it. I mean, because it is. They're, they know. They're like, it's a club. We are like a bar. We know. Y'all are gonna, some of y'all are gonna be doing that. There's literally a bar in West Hollywood that literally has a sign above the bathroom that's like, please don't do coke in the bathroom. Okay, now I'm just going in with a darker, like, brown color to define the edges a little bit more. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Yes. Um, so not for people to think I'm crazy out there. Some of y'all are gonna think I'm crazy. She's also a Me, fan. no, me and Sarah are witch sisters. For real, like, I, 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 I'm for real like a medium, like, I, for, I'm, when I was a kid, you are. When I was a kid, I could like I like saw and felt and heard things, but like I grew like I like grew up and like I created like a barrier because like you need to do that if you want to be happy in life. <laughs> but um, no, for real. And like I have like some psychic abilities. Like for example, when I was a kid, we lost um, my cat. His name was Nalu, and he was gone. Nalu. Nalu. That's so cute. And, yeah, and. When uh, he got eaten by a raccoon. No, he didn't. Thank you. That's not what happened. But so he. Good guess though. That is a good guess. He ran away or something, and so he was lost. And we was gone for like a month. Mm. And I had a dream one day, like a very, very vivid dream, that he, like of where he was, and it was like the specific house in the backyard, like in like this area. So I like convinced my dad for like a week. I was like, we have to go. Please let me go there. Like, I know he's there. Just, just take me there. And then finally my dad was like, did it to make me shut up because I was so annoying. And we got there and it played out just as my dream happened. Uh-huh. My cat was there. Like every, It was crazy. So Nala had ran away, started a life with the raccoon, built a home, <laughs> yes. had babies. Yes. And then you came there and you were like, holy shit. Yes. I oh. found you. Wow, oh my that's god. Incredible. <laughs> that's incredible. But yeah, it's happened Ooh. multiple times too. But that's my favorite story. Yeah. Do you believe in ghosts, Lila? Yeah, do you believe in ghosts? Uh, yeah, for sure. Do you have any ghost stories? You know, when I, um, I had to get an emergency surgery in 2017, and I had my left ovary removed because I, I had a cyst on it that grew to the size of like, Good. Very common. And yeah. um, my son was so big, like it really looked like I was like pregnant, but I just thought I was bloated all the time. But it turns out I was carrying a cyst for like a year. So anyways, they removed this cyst, and I had to be put on um, these painkillers. And while I was in the hospital with my mom, because I was like on all these painkillers, and I felt like I could see these green kind of like evil spirit type things yeah. and it was really scary and I've never been so scared in my life but that's why I don't like painkillers. That is really scary. Yeah. It was really bizarre and then um, I was on them, I was on the painkillers for like a month because of the, you know, the surgery but yeah, I saw those like green kind of creepy. What painkillers are you on? No, um, I think they were called Norco. Norco, oh, yeah. Fuck Norco. Yeah. yeah, so it was scary, and I, you know, when you're like on the kind of um, cusp of like death, kind of, they say that that's when you're more yeah. susceptible to seeing, you know, ghosts. And that's shit. why I think actually why I have medium abilities because when I was two, I died. I flatlined for like five minutes. I like should not. I should be brain dead. Like I, I shouldn't be alive. Uh, long story short, um, I was sick, the doctors gave me the wrong type of medicine, I had a seizure, um, and I went into like a coma, and I flatlined for like three to five minutes. So you died? I you died. died, I was I was like that declared, like I was declared dead for like a second, and basically my mom, this is why my mom said like she like didn't really believe in like God or like a bigger higher power until this day, Aww. because she like went to a different room and like prayed, like really prayed. And asked like my Gigi, my great grandma, who passed away not long, long before this, that if she saw me, to please bring me back. Oh my god! And I actually I have a story about that because my first memory was like seeing this person that I didn't know who it was, and like oh, I'll go into that in a, in a future in a future episode. But basically, I came back to my body like a second after I was just declared like gone, 
And uh, the only thing that I've suffered from since that is I have a hearing loss because of it. So like I should be brain dead. I should not be as alive, uh, as alive and like super like as able as I am. Well, like I'm very lucky. We are happy you're here. That is that is so crazy. But that means like that um, that whole like part of being close to death and yeah. then connecting with spirits. Like I totally believe in that because 100%. when I was super sick and then seeing all that stuff, I was like, ugh, this is what they talk about. This, this is it? true. Okay, so what are you doing now? It looks pretty. Thank you. It looks pretty! I'm just uh, making her eyes more definition, making it darker, and then we're going to smoke it out and make it a little uglier and creepier. It looks like I'm doing it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. I'm just helping her. I'm dipping in the pen. And I'm helping her. This is um, Sarah's assistant, Lila. Yes. He's a ladies man. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We got two the sexy final clowns. Note. And their makeup artist with their dog. Thank you so much for <laughs> Thank you, tuning in to Two Peas in a Bucket. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Thank you. 
I'm not fighting anymore. Look. I, I don't know. I can't see that hair. I'm a little confused. Me too. I need to go home and do some tests. Why did he say to us? That was so weird. Okay, so I'm literally just walking around the house and I'm like, oh, I'm so Oh my god, he's texting he's you. He's texting me! 